Hey everybody, I'm Dave Millar and this is the Rad Pad Real Estate Review. We've got a special guest with us today. He is a real estate mover and shaker. Yep. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Joao Musiolo from Trinity Real Estate here in Nicaragua based out of San Juan del Sur. Excellent. And he handles a lot of properties in the San Juan del Sur area as well up as well as up north to Emerald Coast. Correct. Um, which would be like uh, Huacalito, uh, Hacienda Iguana. Correct, and Rancho and Santana. And Rancho Santana. Yep. So if you're looking for a vacation home in Nicaragua, he might be a guy that you want to talk to. His contact information is going to be down in the description, telephone number, uh, email, website, so people can reach out to you. So That's tell right. us a little bit more about you, Joa. Yep. You've got uh, like a herd of kids. Yeah, I have four, four, four kids. Four, four kids. kids, yeah. That constitutes a herd in my book. <laughs> and yeah. what are their ages? So nine, seven, six, no, he's five, and four. <laughs> <laughs> I get confused. I, I won't ask you their names. <laughs> number one, yeah. number two, number three, number four. Names, I got it down. Names, I got it down. <laughs> so and the reason I bring that up is a lot of people are coming down here yeah. from Canada, United States with kids. Yeah, yeah. Because they're want to get out of the school systems or they're just tired of the lifestyle in in North America and they're wanting to come down here and tell us about some of the school alternatives for people that are coming down there thinking about with kids yeah so there's there's some public schools in the area and then there's two private schools that are bilingual right you have Adelante school and you have San Juan del Sur day school my kids they all go to the day school um, okay. And, and great school. It's accredited. Uh, so, you know, our, our kids, once they grow up and they graduate, they can opt uh, and, and go to uh, an American university. Okay. So and it goes it goes all the way through high school? All the way. So you can actually graduate uh, from, from, from the day school. Uh, and that is new, right? The high school is new and, and it, it, they're establishing it, but you can now graduate in, from the day school. How many kids at San Juan? Day school. I think it's about 200 kids. 200 kids? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it grew a bunch through through the pandemic. Right. A lot of people started coming because we're a country was open. I was thinking it was like open. 50. No, really, no, 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 no. It, it was already 100 when I got here six years ago. Wow. And uh, with the pandemic, people, since we were open, school was open, Nicaragua was open, a lot of people from the U.S. and Canada, they started coming coming down. And, and before we were... Uh, more of a vacation market right, right. in our area and right. now you know it, it's a mixed market because there's a lot of people making their primary residence in our in san juan del sur and tola mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of people making a move with small children or you know like teenagers and uh and and living the nicaraguan lifestyle as a family so if they want to come to the school there is there a waiting list there is a waiting list. Uh, there has to be an interview, and wow. uh, yeah, it, it got serious. So, so if you're serious about wanting to come down here and you're thinking about it, don't think you're just going to be able to show up or put your kids into school. You got to do your due diligence ahead of time. Exactly. You have to now. You have to plan with time and talk to the school and get interviewed and uh, you know pay for the inscription and, and all those things right. and. So it's, it's not an easy thing anymore. It, uh, it, it grew very quick, uh, and, uh, and it's a serious school, right? It's, right it's, yeah, it, there's yeah, it's an establishment real, real with rules, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I live in Hacienda Iguana, uh -huh. and we've got a little school there, Coastal Ed Ellesmeralda Education Center. We've got like 25 kids. Okay. So it's a little bit more lax there. You can show up, like if you're living there for a month, and you can put your kid in the school for a month. Okay. And so that that's really really nice. But, yeah, uh, that that's how the day school started back in the day, right? right. It started small, and then uh -huh. it just started growing and growing and growing, and now it's it, it's it's a real thing. Yeah. Um, I moved to San Juan uh, thanks to the school because uh, I already had three kids when I right, moved down, right. and um, and we, we needed a, a a a real school and a good education for our kids. Uh, so we it was a, a big part of the equation was that school. Yeah, town. Yeah. I mean, for me. Being in Nicaragua, it's really, really, my son's quality of life is one of the main reasons why I'm here. Because I can take him to school every day myself 
drop him off. I thought I saw a video that you did once. He did a video, and if you could check it out, it's probably on your YouTube channel. But it's like yep. a day in the life of Joa and what he does. And he right. gets up in the morning and he does some work, gets everything ready, checks his emails, takes his kids to school. Yeah. It's a really cool. It's a really cool video because it gives you an idea of what your life would be like here. I mean, he's he's a serious businessman. He works all the time, and. He, He's a major player in real estate, but he also has a different lifestyle. Right. You know? So that balance is very yeah. important, right? I do. Right. I do work because uh, I like it. Is it, it's a hobby. Right. Uh, hobby. But, but, but uh, well, yeah. You know, yeah I, yeah. I like doing yeah. it. And but but surfing has to be there. Ah. So the, uh, that's that's another hobby. Right. Uh, probably a, a, like a, the true hobby, right? Uh -huh. uh, but actually, in in my schedule, the first thing that goes in the schedule is the surf. So I write down like what time the tide is right, etc. So I, I put my surf in there, and then clients and meetings they go around that. So uh -huh. so the balance and quality of life goes first, and then and then the work. Right, yeah. and yeah. the time with your kids. I just have so much more time with my son here. Uh, a whole lot, yeah. a whole lot, and 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 it's so easy as well because uh, the main attraction is like what do we do? Mm -hmm. We go to the beach, right? Yeah. Uh, so go that's our. Beach. That's our backyard, yeah. Um, and it's wonderful to see kids growing up in that environment because they they pick up rocks and they pick up some sticks, and one is over here and the other one's climbing a tree and the other one's swimming. They they do their own thing and and they're having a blast. It's 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 a wonderful experience. They're truly free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, watching my my son's taking surf lessons now, and I was sitting on the beach. I, I just thought to myself, I was watching him take surf classes. I was like, you know. It kind of gets choked up saying this. It's like, this is my most favorite thing in my life. How old is he? He's seven. Seven. Just to w sit there on the beach and watch my son learn how to surf is to, like, and watch him, just watch him play and be on the beach. And he, he doesn't know it right now because he's a kid, right? He's, right. Just, he's just living life. Uh -huh. But I think when he's 20 years old, he's going to go, wow, I'm really glad my dad gave me that opportunity to yeah. live that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're getting a, a, a great life being out here. Yeah, uh, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. So if, if you, if you want to come to Nicaragua, you want to call this guy, and he's here to talk about a new listing that he has. And it is called Casa Anya. Casa Anya. It says, live life in harmony with nature. Tell us about it, Joa. So, Casa Anya is located in Bosques del Mar. Bosques del Mar is 20, I'm sorry, Bosques del Mar is 10 minutes north of San Juan del Sur, a short 10 minute drive. And Bosques del Mar is in, uh, in front of uh, Playa Marsella, okay. which is a beautiful beach right next to Playa Maderas, which is a surfing beach. Um, Bosques del Mar is a gated community, very safe, very secure, uh, established HOA, you have security points, you have uh, water, internet, electricity and all that. Wow. And Casa Anya is, is inside the compound of Bosques del Mar uh -huh. and uh, it's 300 meters, so three minute walk to Playa Marsella. Okay. They have... Uh, they have an acre of land in front of the beach, okay. which is the clubhouse for wow. Bosques del Mar. So they've and got an acre of land in front of the, so it's like an acre of beach or? It's an acre of land. So probably there's a uh, uh, hundred feet of, of beach frontage. Excellent. Uh, which, so you can swim, etc. And then you have a shaded area and is barbecue. Is it like a bay or is it? Marseille is a, it's, it's a bay. It's a bay. And it's a very uh, secure and safe swim because there's a big rock uh, in front of Marsella that stops all the swells. Ah, and that's so, really important. Like like in Hacienda Iguana, that beach is not for swimming, man. Right, you, you get, you get a lot really of easy. Yeah. You get a lot of power in, in right. Iguana. Right. Uh, here, the, 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 all that power is stopped by this rock. Ah. Uh, so you don't, the, the waves are very small. Even when the waves are are big everywhere else. Right. In Marsella, that, that rock breaks the, the, the strength of the wave and then, so you just get very little waves. So for kids, Good beach. Great, great beach for kids yeah. and, and just swimming. Um, and this house is, you know, a three minute walk to that beach inside this compound of Bosques del Mar. Very and the cool. house is wonderful. Uh, it sits on uh, half an acre, it has a, a very lovely swimming pool. Uh, the main house has three bedrooms and then they have a, uh, an, a, a condo, like an apartment uh, top of the garage, uh, fully loaded, very nice, and a casita 
for for a security for extra security or whoever you know you could rent it out right now the the current owner has uh, has uh, some people living there that take care of the house for him uh -huh. uh, so great great property very nice it says solar panels too yeah it is connected it is connected to the grid but it does have solar ah, panels backup for for backup yes great that's yes. awesome that's really important to have yeah. you i think and you could get disconnected uh from the main grid and just you know live off of the panel oh yeah 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 you yeah. probably could yeah but it's nice to have both really yeah, for it, convenience you know, it gets it to is. start get cloudy and rainy for too long a period of time it is and you might have problems right yeah. yeah, there's people yeah. Can, that can pull it off for, for sure. And I think that the, the technology is there and uh, there's a couple companies in Nicaragua that they can really do a good job with, it, with all the solar stuff. Um, but, you know, this one has both, both it's, options. It says that you have a lot 108 and 109, so it has two lots? Yeah, so the house was built in two lots. That's why you have half an acre of, of like for the whole property. Very, very spacious, great for a family. Kids can run around inside your property, go outside, ride bikes in the in Bosques del Mar, and then go to the beach, just a three minute walk. Perfect, perfect. Well, that's awesome. So if you're interested in this property or any other properties, give Joa a call. Again, his contact information will be down in the description. He'd be happy to help you out. For sure. Answer any questions you might have about Nicaragua. About Nicaragua, about, about where's real a good, estate. How about where's a good place to eat in San Juan? That I can help that, can help that, that as well. Too. Where's the best place to eat seafood in San Juan? So there's several. Now, the, the one that I haven't tried, I've, I've, I've had their fish, right? But I haven't tried their restaurant. Right. Because in the port, there's a, there's a, like a, mar a fish market where you can buy fresh fish straight out of the, you know, the, the fishermen's nets. Right. You buy their fish and then you take home and you, you cook it yourself. Well, now they have a restaurant right there next to, the, to this fish market. Uh, ah. I think that's going to be your best option because it's yeah. it's very authentic and, and super you know fresh. It's super fresh. I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah, I don't even know the name of it, but you but right by the fish market, there's right a new the restaurant going and check that place out. Yeah, yes. and it, let us know if you have any ideas about what you want us to cover. If you want us to talk about fish restaurants or whatever, put it down in the comments. We'd love to have we'd love to help you out in any way we can. If you appreciate this content, please subscribe and like. We, we always like subscribes and likes helps yeah. helps pr promote everybody and get get the word out there and until next time have a great day take it easy bye